Um, I'm not really too much into mech games because I'm terrible at them. I'm shitty. Later, Thompson. I have played Final Fantasy 4 and 6, yeah. Yeah, that yellow-black rail hovering in the middle of nowhere. I don't know how that even works. That's just fail. I really liked Pokemon as a kid, yeah. And I have played and beaten Mother 2 and 3. I'm a gigantic fan of the Earthbound series. I actually own uh, Earthbound manga. I actually bought it and shit like that and attempted to translate it back in the day. and Got pretty far into it, but... I'm a massive Earthbound fan. Big time. Big time. I have not played Final Fantasy IX. I've wanted to play that, but I have not played that. I haven't played Zoo Tycoon either. Um, somebody asked me, fuck, what did they ask me? Oh, RPGs. I have to say my top five RPGs would probably be... Oh, let's build a balloon stall. Let's build it all the way here in the corner, so they have to go all the way out. Well, that's mean. I don't want to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm nice. Yay. There you go. Um, top five RPGs would probably be... I'll build an information kiosk out there so you have to go all the way out there to just get information. <laughs> um, in no particular order at all for this. Walking shoes. I would have to say... Earthbound, aka Mother 2, Star Ocean 2, Tales of Fantasia, Fantasy Star 4, and... What was the last one that was always on my list? Either Secret of Mana or Mother 3. I don't know which. It's a tie. It's a tie for last place. Or not last place, but whatever. It's... There's my top six games. There you go. Top six RPG games. Fantasy Star 4, Mother 2 and 3, um, Star Ocean 2, Tales of Fantasia, and uh, Secret of Mana. There you go. No, I... Fuck. When I was in junior high, I skipped school to go see the Pokemon movie, and then I got in the fucking news for it. And all my classmates were all, like, super fucking buttered about it, because they said I made the school look bad by skipping class to watch the Pokemon movie. Because basically the school I went to at that point was like a fucking military camp, almost. So, yeah, I, I skipped school to go watch it, and then the news was doing a story on how the Pokemon movie was released, and they caught me in the background going to it. GG! Um, I have never played Saints Row the Third. LSD is crackhead genre. That's what genre it is. No, I fucking, for Christmas, when I was a kid, I fucking got Pokemon, like, uh, those dolls, you like, the, the, the doll action figure toy, whatever thing you like click together. Like, like, the, the things, where they're like all in multiple pieces and you have to put them together. The die cast model thing or whatever, I got those of Mewtwo and Mew, and then I got actual, like, plaster characters of fucking Blastoise and, uh, Charmander. Or no, um, Charizard. So yeah, I was, I was pretty fairly into Pokemon as a kid. A lot. I actually, uh, was super into it. I would always come home from school, and my parents would record the episode that came on that day so I could watch it when I got home. When I was in, uh, junior high and elementary school. I have not played the Stalker series, no. Probably the next big genre for FPS, or probably the next big genre, is already starting to become sandbox gaming. Stuff like Minecraft and uh, Skyrim. Open world gaming is what I should say. That's, that's going to be the next big genre, because that's really getting big. With stuff like Skyrim and uh, Grand Theft Auto and Minecraft and everything else really making the push. Terraria. <clears throat> Let's see. 
Ooh. Oh, let's build this fucking piece of shit. Wait, did I get the loops for this shit? No, I still don't have any loops. I wanted to do loops. Digimon, I was fucking super into as a kid. Oh my god. So into Digimon as a kid. I made the bathrooms uh, free. I already made the bathrooms free. Yeah, I was on uh, MTV's Made because um, a family friend of mine got on the show. And I had grown up with her uh, older brother and stuff like that. We He was my first friend I ever had. We both met each other when we were like four. And so she got on the show. And so I was over there like helping him, you know, like make shit and all that stuff for uh, her competition. And so that's how I got on the show. So I got a national television. Yeah. Didn't know this ride could go this high. I was just gonna like fucking break their dicks off. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna like fucking kill somebody. <laughs> Actually, I should make this shit drop even more. There's a wooden dick coaster. Oh, I'm gonna build a water slide to cap this park off. Fuck yeah, water slides are always the best. Entrance not yet built. Well, fuck off then. There's the entrance. I need to change the colors on this. Make it brown and blue and green. Make it just look like shit. Let's make it mine trucks. You fucking fuck it then. Fuck a truck. Oh, I need to I need to make that different. I'm kinda in game mode right now, so I'm not really noticing what people are saying in the chat. I'm sorry about that. I just wanna get her done. No, I don't like Jeff Foxworthy. Whoever the fuck says that shit. Same person. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? I know you can get to the entrance of fuck a truck. Truck fuckers. Oh my god. There. There's your goddamn ride. Let's see how much this blows people's dicks off. Intensity rating, alright. Very good, very good. We have to put down some benches for this one. What are people fucking vomiting out here? What a bunch of dicks. Jesus. Yeah, I'm gonna make this easy even though like a whole bunch of people died at this park. That's fine. Yeah, I got on uh, MTV's Made. I have watched Sailor Moon. I think most people watched that as kids because it was on Toonami. And YouTube does indeed do live stuff. Jacos138. Well, I didn't. I didn't have an interview to get on made because they just automatically interview any of her friends, or you know, like in my case, I'm basically like a family member at that point. Because fuck, I knew her brother before she was even born, and fucking, I like grew up with that family like they were like the second family of mine. So you know, I didn't have to have an interview to get on or anything. It was just like, oh, well, okay, whatever. <laughs> 